This Rolls-Royce Merlin engine was built in 1945, uh, right near the end of World War II, which made these engines famous and are said to have saved the civilised world as we know it now. The engine was said to be the last gift of Sir Henry Royce to the world, uh, he having died in uh, early 1933, but not before he'd designed this particular engine. By the end of 1933, uh, the engines were on test and were in production uh, well and truly by 1939. At the same time, um, coming off the drawing boards were the famous Hawker Hurricane and the Supermarine Spitfire uh, fighters which made um, World War II um, the place where these engines became famous. The engines were used not only in those particular fighters but in a whole range of other aircraft, uh, Lancasters, the famous Mosquito and uh, also the Hornet and Sea Hornet aircraft built by de Havilland. This particular example uh, has on it a badge saying it's a Hornet power plant and um, those particular planes, the Hornet and Sea Hornet, uh, were the pinnacle of twin piston-engined fighters, uh, which um, were the very best up until uh, jet engines um, took over from about 1956. Only 383 uh, Hornets and Sea Hornets were built and they were in service right through until 1956. During its uh, 17 years of production, Rolls-Royce uh, and licensed manufacturers built a total of just over 160,000 of these famous engines. Initially developing under 1,000 horsepower, the 100 series Merlins, of which this is one, uh, were able to deliver up to 2,640 horsepower in high speed high altitude trials. These particular air engines were modified, um, eventually and developed uh, as Rolls-Royce saw over 50 different varieties of the Merlin developed. And these particular engines, the 100 series, um, have two speed twin stage superchargers. So the air is sucked in under pressure to boost performance and these aircraft could um, power twin engine fighters up to 47,000 feet, though they generally cruised at 28 to 30,000 feet. Initially um, the de Havilland Mosquito um, was laughed at by um, many designers but de Havilland persisted and um, saw the fruit of success with 7,700 mosquitoes using pairs of Merlin engines. Uh, that seven ton wooden plane um, again became a very successful high speed bombers, fighters and reconnaissance aircraft. And the Sea Hornet was a refinement of that. It was also mainly timber, mainly timber at that time toward the end of World War II. Um, they were famous because they were so fast so manoeuvrable and so reliable. And as I said, they were the pinnacle of twin engine, piston engine fighters uh, prior to the jets taking over. Uh, the Merlin was always 27 litres in capacity and a V12 in configuration. Of course, there were many refinements over the years and uh, the Rolls-Royce engineers and workers worked around the clock to refine these engines. Lord Hives, who was in charge of Rolls-Royce during the World War, Second World War, uh, is famous for having said to his workers, even before war was declared, work until it hurts. And the Rolls-Royce people followed that to the letter. Rolls-Royce had a staff of 7,800 people uh, in 1935. By 1944, they had nine times that, nine times that, they had 57,000 people uh, working in 7.3 million square feet of factories, mainly in three cities, Derby, Crewe and Glasgow, um, making 
predominantly the Merlin engine. Rolls-Royce, of course, uh, made many other engines and many other parts and armaments uh, to assist uh, the British in World War II.